Hi, my name's Tom. I have stage four colon cancer. I was diagnosed back in 2012 and I'm currently undergoing chemotherapy. I've also been a cancer drug discovery scientist for over 20 years and I write a lot. I'm a blogger. I write about the newest treatment options in CRC and I write about clinical trials uh, for the fellow patients to understand the science behind them. I'm Dr. Young Lee. I treat colorectal cancer patients at the Johns Hopkins Sydney Kimmel Comprehensive Cancer Center and I do research in immunotherapy and biomarkers in colorectal cancer. I'm Suzanne. I lost my dad, Gordon Cole, to colorectal cancer in 2014. He believed in the future of medicine through research. He was very passionate about the power of research. When you're first diagnosed with colorectal cancer, there are a number of different treatments that you could receive. The first step in determining your treatment plan will be biomarker testing. When your tumor is first removed, the surgeon will keep a little bit of it and that will be used for biomarker testing. There are a lot of different treatment options for colorectal cancer patients, um, including clinical trials, but really the first step is doing biomarker testing. What excited my dad was an emerging field of cancer treatment called immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is also known as immuno-oncology or immunology. Immunotherapy uses the body's own immune system to fight off cancer and the spread of tumors. It's a really exciting and important field. As both a scientist and a patient, immunotherapies are showing a lot of promise. It's why I call myself the currently incurable scientist. Something groundbreaking is happening in CRC right now in biomarker testing. Biomarker testing can tell you if current immunotherapies are an option for some CRC patients. Biomarker testing can determine if current immunotherapies are an option for CRC patients. This research impacts those with MSI high tumors. We completed a very exciting study of a new immunotherapy, PD-1 inhibition, in patients with colorectal cancer. One of those groups of patients were patients who had abnormalities in mismatch repair proteins. These tumors are also known as microsatellite unstable tumors, or MSI high tumors. What we found is that patients with this abnormality responded exceptionally well to PD-1 inhibition with prolonged and durable responses. In our study, we found that the patient's MSI status could predict their response to immunotherapy, providing a new biomarker to select these patients for immunotherapy. MSI high is found in about 15% of colorectal tumors and is often associated with genetic disorders such as Lynch syndrome. Thanks to Dr. Lee's research, we learned that there are new treatment options for MSI high patients with late stage disease. And these are patients with not a lot of treatment options. Anti-PD-1 immunotherapies may help patients with MSII tumors. While this doesn't apply to all colorectal patients, it is exciting because it shows we're making progress. Our research has implications for a small subset of patients, and that's really important. More work needs to be done. This kind of research is what gave my dad hope and extended his life. We're partnering with Fight Colorectal Cancer because we know that they are taking an active role in advancing immunotherapy. As a group of activists at Fight Colorectal Cancer, we're convening meetings, we're provoking conversations, funding research directly so that the progress continues. Immunotherapy is such an exciting field and I hope that you'll join my family and fight colorectal cancer in supporting this effort as well. It's going to take all of us chipping in. Every day I see new groundbreaking discoveries being made that other patients need to know about. I want all patients to stay informed and involved and to have your tumors tested for biomarkers, especially for MSI high status. Being tested can make you eligible for certain treatment options and help your medical team come up with the best treatment plan. But most of all, I want patients to have hope. The future of medicine is now.